game development in assembly language. Um, so last time we had some keyboard input happening, but um, wasn't that impressive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid <clears throat> of all this code because I was testing it. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you first. Uh, that way we can see what happens. As you can see, I can type letters, which is nice. Um, we're going to be improving some stuff, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, so basically, what happens is you get this sort of integer input. It comes in in the form of AL from this in, so um, and that's your keyboard value. And the trouble is, is that um, if you try and write that directly, you end up writing a number, well, a, a binary value instead of a readable value. And you can't just do the thing, and I'll show you, where you just add a certain amount to it. Um, so in right char, if we were just to add, if we just add AL and then 48 like we did before, some of it would kind of work. Um, if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see some characters in there. Um, but as we keep going, you'll notice they are not characters. So this sort of what happens is it gives you a code. And you have to set up a table to correlate with that code. And that table is right here. Now, I'll have a GitHub link in the description so you can copy it over because that's a lot to type. And there's a sort of unfortunate thing in Visual Studio Code where it thinks this is a um, escape character. So this is correct for Visual Studio Code, but it's going to be incorrect for your actual um, for your actual um, input. So you're just going to have to deal with um, it not understanding that this isn't part of a, you know, part, part of a string. Um, so this is the code you want. And what you want to do, and we'll go up here and I'll, I'll go through it, is you want to get your input, which is in here called AL, all right, and we're passing it to uh, right char. What you want to do is you want to find it inside the table. So what we're going to do instead of doing this add, okay, and we should probably do this in an earlier part. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and set the BL here, so move BL. Um, this is going to be the color, so colors, we'll, we'll do, um, uh, light blue, I guess, for our, our, our color. And we'll probably want to put this in here. So this is testing whether or not it's a key up, and then if it's zero, it goes to key down. Um, so in key up, we're not going to do anything. But in key down, we're going to grab that value. So um, inside key down, because I'm going to move it, that way it's not in another place where I was testing. What we want to do is um, there's this sort of and AL thing that happens where you and it by 0x um, I think it's 0 2f 2f and I can check that later but uh, I believe that's what it is. Or maybe it's, um, here, I'll just check it right now. Uh, 7F, okay. I was off by a little bit. And this, uh, I believe it cancels out the um, sort of the flag for whether it's key up or not. So that's kind of how you get rid of that. And then you just have the, the value left over. And in fact, we can go ahead and just do that and have us have it write out the value. Um, just because out of curiosity, I want to know um, what happens if we do the add AL48, which would normally be, I'll just do it as a zero so it's more clear. No, I don't want your notifications. Um, yeah, it still has issues. You can see some of the codes coming through, but yeah. 
So you will you will need to do this scan code table. Um, here it is again, and basically we're it's basically an array, and we're going to pick a position in the array. So after doing this, we have the the al should now be the value inside the scan code table. So what we're going to do is we need to um, zor bx, I think. Yeah, it should be bx. And then um, after Zor and BX, we need to load in a, a value to it so that we can use it as a position in the array. So this is kind of how arrays work in assembly language. So we're going to do um, move BL and then um, we're going to move AL into BL. Okay, so that this is our position. So the index is the AL. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, oh, come on. AL. We're going to go in here and we're going to do um, move. And then what we want to do is get the position and move it back into AL. So we go AL. So we're going to move into AL. So we're doing a little bit of a swap around. Um, AL is going to BL to sort of store it as the index. And then we are moving a value plus BL as the index into AL. So um, to do this, we do scan code table plus B L I believe it might need to be BX but uh, since we zored it it's probably the same so we'll just do BL if I'm wrong we've made a mistake and we'll find out um, and then we should have the correct key going in uh oh aha yeah so that there is yes you do you do need to say BX um, that's why we're zoring BX, I guess. Do, do, do. So if I do, yep, there we go. So here I'll press one, two. The The second character that comes up there is the key up. And let's go ahead and get rid of key up. So key up is right char. We're going to just <clears throat> get rid of that. In fact, we can just remove all code from key up. And then you'll see, um, so if I type my name, Brandon, okay, good, it, it works. Um, yep, 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 okay. Can't backspace though, backspace is not implemented yet. That's okay though. <laughs> we can get key inputs. Um, so, and eventually we'll need to have something that checks to see if a key is up or not. Um, so that means that we'll wait until there's a key up event for a particular uh, character. So, but that's that's a little bit more complicated. I wanted to just sort of make sure that we get the keys going in so that we know what they are. Like for instance, we can do a little bit, we'll do a little bit here where we have a move box down, which is actually move box up, which is kind of ironic. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a move box up uh, and we don't have to change that one, but this one we have to do add three. And then what we're going to do is, um, see that's right char. So what we're going to say is say, um, okay, we don't need to write char. We need here, here's where we need it. So we're going to do CMP AL to um, an AL shouldn't be canceled out yet, is it? Where where does AL get messed with? AL, I know I mess with it somewhere. No, it should. Ah, underdone. So yeah, we we'll do a key. Um, key val. D, uh, DB. Zero? Yeah. So along with this sort of uh, event up here, okay, actually up here. Um, so we're not, yeah, we're not to the, okay, in here. We'll do it here. Move into key val. Uh, AL. Okay. So we can check the key val without it getting overwritten by something else. 
So we'll we'll compare. Um, mm, I wonder if compare lets you reference keyval directly. It might. It might. We'll compare it to W. Um, and I believe uh, jump if equal. And we'll go to um, no call move box up and then um, mm, otherwise move box down. Interesting. But we need to skip. If this is called so, what actually needs to happen is we need another label dot move. Uh, we'll just call it W press for now. I know this is probably bad coding, but um, and then if if it's equal, jump to dot W press. But we need to find a way to skip over move down because move down will get called every time and then it won't show up. Um, <clears throat> uh oh. Operation size not specified. Right. Um, I think that will do it. It's setting it to be a byte. So, okay, W is pressed. It goes up. Right? Yeah, move box up. If I hit S, nothing happens. Okay, nothing happens, but um, move box down isn't called either. So I wonder why that is since the comp is happening correctly. Because um, it shouldn't be jumping to W press unless move box down. Interesting. And I wonder why move box down is not being called. It's the same exact but with add, so it should be working. Hmm. Let me take a look if I press something else first. And then when I press W, okay, well it goes up on W. Um I wonder if there's a reason for jump equal might not be the correct jump for that. Um, I'll do another comparison for uh, W and S, so up and down. And then um, see if the code works. New. I think if I reorder them, it'll actually work. I'm not exactly sure why it's ignoring the move key down. It may be something with the move down code. Yeah, it might be something with that. Do you have to have a jump? You might have to have a jump. Um. be kind of interesting if that was. Okay, so if we go here, then we also need a, a dot done jmp done and then this would be call move box down jmp dot done interesting. Um, In theory, if we jump to S press instead for this and put this to S, it might work. Okay, it goes up. It goes down. It goes up. It goes down. Okay. <clears throat> it 
Good, okay, okay. So that's partially fixed. Um, I kind of also wanted to fix the... I wanted to fix the trail. <laughs> it doesn't. The, I don't black out the entire screen, so it, it leaves this trail of mess. Um, but for now, that's all I'm going to do. So...